Good hey. morning. Waste Not Wednesday is here again. We've got an old door. I don't know exactly how old. It was out of a house we salvaged in American Fork here in Utah. And it's washed up, cleaned up. It's got most of the chippy paint that's going to come off of it off. And we're going to paint the center with DIY in Little Black Dress and make a chalkboard. If you're new to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button so you don't miss any of our videos. We go live every Wednesday at 10.30 a.m. Mountain Standard Daylight Savings Time. It's YouTube. mountain time. Just mountain, mountain time. time. Mountain time. And we also go live on Saturday nights at 8 o'clock with our thrift, or 8.30, sorry, 8.30 with our thrift hauls. And then we have various DIYs, how-tos, farmhouse decor videos, and all kinds of things going on on our channel so you won't want to miss out. So we keep thinking we're going to run out of junk for Waste Not Wednesday, <laughs> but I guess the truth is like once a hoarder, always a hoarder. So we have a lot of stuff. This has been at the shop. Um, I had, I think, what, what the tag say? $50? Yeah, it was for $50. Bucks. Yeah, it's $50 just a single the panel shop. door. Um, it does have the original mm -hmm. hardware, which you can see right here, which is kind of cool. The skeleton key, which adds a little bit of value to it. If I was just going to buy this door as is to flip, I probably wouldn't spend more than about $20. That gives you an idea if you're looking for something similar to turn for a profit as is it's worth between 40 and 50 at a retail setting and when we're done we're going to ask about 95 dollars for it so what we're doing is we have um kind of removed some of the loose paint if you want perfection oh, oh. kick the camera sorry if you want perfection <laughs> then you might want to sand this middle area but we don't worry about perfection around here the chippy the better we actually already have the other side painted and dry. So as soon as we get done painting this, we'll flip it over and we'll show you how to use Jamie Ray Vintage stencils to create chalk art. Um, for those of you that are like me that are um, chalk art challenged. Okay, so I'm gonna start cutting this. I've just got DIY little black dress. And then this is the Palm Pro, the Zipper Palm Pro. These are awesome. You can pick them up at jamierayvintage.com. If you need to cut something and get like nice clean lines, they're excellent. They're also a synthetic bristle, so if you're not a big fan of brush strokes, they've got a real fine bristle on them, so they cut down on brush strokes too. I'm using the synthetic brush here. This is a synthetic round that we carry also on our website. And I'm just putting paint in the middle and he's gonna come smooth it out and cut the edge. You can also use, um, we have a zebra chiseled that also works well for cutting. But I do love this Palm Pro for cutting. I'm gonna steal some of your paint. Okay. So if you were gonna put this outside, I would spray a matte sealer on it when you're done, um, especially after you do your chalk art, which would make it permanent. Um, but if you put it outside and it gets wet, it's gonna be no bueno, otherwise known as no good. So keep that in mind if it's going outside. Sorry, I'm off camera talking. Except smile at the people. They can't see me. They're looking at my belly button right now. I'm going to respond to comments in a minute. I'm just helping get paint on and Zeb will smooth it out. If you come on, let us know where you're from. We like to know everybody. And I know that a lot of people like to meet people from other areas that are interested in the same thing. So, sorry, we did not. I hosed it down. I think it swelled some more. Yeah, we might get some good chippy in our black paint later. Yeah, that's all right. But you know what? Just repaint. It's just paint. All right. It's just paint, y'all. Oh, that's one. That's a somebody's business name. <laughs> I love that name. All right. Okay. I got my part done. You're already done. I'm going to yeah. drop the camera down so they can see what All I'm right. doing here with the you cutting. You guys can watch Zeb smooth out the paint. The cool thing about DIY paint, it's non-toxic, all natural, no VOC, and it covers really well, especially in black. So we will only be doing one coat. Baggy that. If you wanted perfection, you could use two coats. Yeah, we're good. Well, didn't I do this once before? I don't know. Did we? Did we do a whole door? We did a door, but we weren't able to finish it and do. We it was the window in the basement, oh, is what okay. we did. This but is this is going to be a little different technique once we get to the stenciling. So we're bear be with using us. A uh, chalk pencil to stencil with, and the chalk pencil that we're using, you can pick up at your local craft store. You can order them online. It looks like a regular pencil, only the tip, I don't know if you can see that. I'll put it up again. Here, they can. They can see it. Okay. Don't worry. Um, the tip is white. You can see it against the black. And it's actually chalk. So, but it works really great with stenciling because it's really thin, so you could come in and trace it out. 
then shade in the middle and you get more of a chalkboard effect. Um, if you guys, oh, we also are going to be announcing two uh, winners of paint today. Oh, I forgot we were doing that. Yeah, we got, <laughs> we'll, we'll pick those. We've got one winner from our Facebook group, the Jamie Ray Vintage Group on Facebook, and then one winner from Community Oops. on YouTube because we also put it up there. If you guys haven't been to community, be sure to go to Jamie Ray Vintage on YouTube and click that community tab. And occasionally we'll have posts and updates and occasionally giveaways on there. If you're on Facebook, be sure to request to join the Jamie Ray Vintage group on Facebook. The giveaway is just going to be a sample of their choice of DIY paint. And what they had to do to enter was just tell us what their favorite products that we carry at jamierayvintage.com are. So... For another chance, if you didn't get to enter that, um, go ahead and comment below with your favorite JamieRayVintage.com product, whether it's IOD stamps or Jamie Ray Vintage stencils or DIY paint or transfers, whatever your favorite is, comment with that. And then next week, we'll give away another sample of paint because I want to give everybody an opportunity to win. So today we're going to give away two samples from our Facebook group and the community tab on YouTube. And then next week, if you comment below with your favorite product from our website, we will announce another winner. We'll give another sample away. And it is available um, worldwide. So as long as it's illegal to ship to your country, we'll ship it to you. We cannot cover um, customs, duties, or taxes once it gets to you. So, What were people's favorites? Um, I saw a lot of IOD transfers. White Swan, Apothecary. Some people said that they really love the Jamie Ray Vintage stencils. And one of the things I hear a lot about my stencils, which I feel like I can't even take credit for, except for I asked for it. Um, my manufacturer makes them very, very nice and thick and durable, meaning they can be used over and over again. Sometimes you get a, a stencil from the craft store, it's kind of flimsy. Mine are made from really thick plastic, so they're easy to scrub and they hold up to a lot of um, abuse. I made, them, I made them not only for the DIY home crafter, but thinking that people would be using them for resale and creating lots of products for their booths or whatever. And Let's be those. honest, you're not easy on craft supplies. You designed them so you couldn't ruin them. Yeah, I'm horrible <laughs> on craft supplies, so I'm usually the pro, you know quality control tester. If it survives me and I can use it, then anybody can use it. If you're just tuning in, Zepp's painting this old antique door with Little Black Dress by DIY Paint. It's little to no prep, meaning we just hose this down and we're painting on it. Um, for the what we're doing today, I would suggest only indoor use because we're not gonna seal it. If you wanted to put it outside, you could seal it with a matte spray paint, but then whatever you have on your chalkboard is a obviously- A matte spray paint? Not, well, like a matte sealer. Okay. Spray on, sorry. Not spray paint, sorry, a matte, where am I going today? My brain is not working. A matte sealer. You must have had a chunk of something on there. I think I pulled up a, ch a chunk of paint. Chunk it's of okay. Paint. You gotta fix that. Situation. It's all right. It'll get seasoned. It'll get seasoned. <laughs> Anyways, a matte outdoor sealer in a, like a spray can or through your spray gun will make this outdoor safe. I know a lot of people like to put these on their porch. So the cool thing about this single panel door is we'll be able to use both sides. So if you wanted to do something that was more permanent and switch it out for seasons or whatever, it could be really cool. Or do something fun on one side and then have it like into another room if you have this as use an actual door. Anna says, yeah, Zeb, you missed a spot. Missed lots of spots. Uh, trying to cut this corner. Don't distract me. While he's doing that, I'll give you guys an update. We're still working on um, our getting our home finance. Today, uh, we're getting an Alte loan where they go off of bank statements for qualifying just because we're self-employed. We make way more money than we used to, so our tax returns don't necessarily reflect what we're currently making. So we're having to do a bank statement loan and um, they need to up my credit score a little bit. So I have this little teeny credit card. I think the um, balance is like 250 or something. Yeah, the most I can charge is two dollars and it's scheduled to pay off every month. The most month. you can charge is two dollars. Two hundred. You said two. Oh, I said two hundred. <laughs> okay. What did I say? You guys, would I say two or two hundred? Anyways, you get the point. It's a baby credit card. It pays off automatically every month, but they needed me to pay it down. Not all the way, but to eight dollars. <laughs> 
And then I had to like call my, <laughs> I had to call the bank, the credit card and get them to email me a statement with all this information because all mine wasn't good enough. And then they'll send that into the credit company. Then the credit company will review my credit score, up it, and then they should, Deb is kicking that camera. I can't help it today. Then they'll up that uh, credit score and then I should be able to be good. And then we get to deal with them reviewing 24 months of bank statements. Look at that, fun. you said $2. Okay, fine. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Can you see my brain, like, stress from this loan? Like, right here? Right here. And I don't know if you guys know this, but I used to do mortgages. So I'm, like, fully aware of everything that could go wrong. And Deb is, like, living in the, in the abyss. So we went down and met the, uh, the broker. And here, help me flip this while we tell them this. <clears throat> and they're so talking the back and forth track. and using acronyms and all this stuff. And I'm like... All right, I just hang out because I don't know what any of that means. <laughs> yeah, and and I used to, so I the other thing too is I've been, I've been talking to the processor that's doing my loan, and I'm like, well, what about this? What about this? And then I messaged her day and I said, well, would it help to do a letter for the explanation so that way they know like what our business is because our business model is a little bit different. Not everybody are YouTube influencers with a website with a retail space. We have like multiple. Uh, sources of revenue going on. We even do Facebook videos. We get paid for ad revenue there. I need to season it. Oh, going to season. Um, so I told her, she goes, that's a great idea. So I think it does help and hinder that I do have experience. All right, so Jamie's seasoning this. She just got some sidewalk chalk. Yeah, it helps when you have five kids. You always have sidewalk chalk. Now, you would want to wait for this to probably cure for like two days. We just did it this morning, so we may wind up repainting it. But it is dry. This is also going to help bring some of that character from the door back. Instead of just being like a huge black paint, you'll see some of where the paint had chipped in various layers and the brush strokes and things. And it'll make it give it like a real cool kind of hand drawn kind of effect when we put the stencil on. And if you have ever used like the kind of chalkboard paint they sell, oops, there's chippy paint coming off the sides. We're going to have to re-chip that, I think. It's okay. It's off the sides. If, okay. you, if you've ever used the kind like from Home Depot, it's like shiny and not truly matte. So that's why I love using the DIY paint in lieu of chalkboard paint because A, I have it on hand. B, the coverage is so much better. It's not like streaky. You get like really great coverage and it's more matte. It's not shiny. I think it's weird. Chalkboard should be nice and matte. All right, so. Okay, I'm gonna bring you up close here. We're gonna show you, we're gonna, let's see, where's the top of the door? Um, so this is the, the top of the here, door. So this is the top over here. Yep. All right. Because the key would have gone in over here. So we're using, this is the laundry stencil. You want to grab me that tape? Yeah. And we're, I'm not I'm not looking at comments right now, but I will in a minute. You guys probably have all kinds of mortgage experiences. And I can feel your pain because I've been on the, the lending side. I actually, part of the reason I had to leave the industry is because I'm kind of empathetic. And so it was really hard to separate myself from my business. And when things went wrong, it was really difficult to live with me, huh, it? It was all right. I mean, you just got real sad for a little while. I'm like, what's even happening? Yeah, if somebody had And I wouldn't time, know why. I'd be like, oh, something must have happened at work. I was actually pretty good at my job, but it was just hard to do because sometimes I feel like they don't do common sense lending. Like, we can go out and buy a big old fancy expensive truck, no problem. And we're not even buying the most expensive house. It's like, literally, we bought the cheapest house in Lehigh. Our mortgage is going to be like a few hundred dollars less than our rent is every month once and this thing goes through. And our mortgage <laughs> will be less than what we pay for our two auto loans. But it, yet, yeah, you have to go through all this. It's just infuriating sometimes. But that's okay, because I understand the process, and we've had so much help along the way. So we're going to just keep doing it. So some people have asked, um, well... Some people have assumed that this is our first home because we've been renting so long. This is going to be the third home we've purchased in our marriage, but we, we've been renting for a long, long time. Yeah. When I, so because I was in the mortgage industry, we actually bought two homes by the time I was 21. Our first home was when we were 19 and we built a brand new home when I was pregnant with Harrington. 
Okay, so this is a general pastel chalk is what it's called in white, number 4414. You can find them on Amazon, Hobby Lobby carries them, and so does Michael's. And I just sharpen it with a regular pencil sharpener. And we're gonna just use this as the template here and just go right in. If you got like these smaller ones, it's better to have it sharp because these are tiny, tiny. Is it working? I might go back in and hand fill it in once the stencil's gone too. Yeah, we, it may not do everything, but this is a really easy way to get a really fun look. And we have some really cute summer stencils that just came out and I think this would be so fun to do on like with the summer one with the flip flops on it and stuff. Okay, let's see, Jana says, or you get those slick guys that sell the worst loan to somebody who cannot really afford it. it used to make me so sad when I was in the industry, yeah. It's really, really hard. Uh, there's a lot of things going on. Like it, the other thing about being self-employed that's hard is that like, especially on our bank statements, this may be interesting is that we have like large random deposits all the time because it- Like we'll have a big day on the website. And yeah, <laughs> and so like normally they wanna source all the deposits. Well, I mean, we have 50 million different sources. Like sometimes we get paid from the shop. Sometimes I sell a piece of furniture and someone gives, gives me cash on the fly. <laughs> There's lots of different ways, but that's okay. Cause I'm hoping that what will happen is when we're done with it, um, maybe we'll do a video about the experience and we may be able to offer um, some help to maybe somebody else that wants to buy a house who's self-employed in a similar industry. So I'm willing to go through it if it helps somebody else. So the cool thing that's, about- Ouch, the squeaky chalk, Seb. Sorry, sorry, I'll try to do it on the there side. There you go, so, Tam, you're killing Tammy. So the cool thing about using the chalk here, I could use a bigger piece of chalk. Stacy said they just bought their third house. They rented for 10 years. They repaired their credit too. So it's a lot in common. Do you want the sidewalk chalk? Yeah, no, the smaller regular piece of chalk. So the cool thing about doing this with the chalk and the pencil is that we can change it later. It's not like the paint. When you do it with the paint, you're done. That's what you got. All right, Marie, we're trying not to squeak the chalk. I'm trying. I gotta go sideways and not get my angle in. Yeah, Cricket says, uh, Cricket tidbits with Amanda, so I'm guessing it's Amanda, says, it's crazy how strategic it can be. Yeah, it is. It's just, I know so many different things, but it does help too, because I'm like, okay, well, we'll be careful about deposits that are made. And we actually um, just sold, my son had a pretty nice Durango that we gave him to drive that we owned free and clear and we wound up selling it and buying him a less expensive still nice car but we had a big like $17,000 deposit that went our checking account and I remember that so now I can uh, go back in and and prove where that came from because most people wouldn't think about that so I'm doing all the small stuff with the pencil I'm gonna have to sharpen it here in just a sec so I can get down in some of these finer lines and then I'll go back in. I think I'm gonna use just a regular piece of chalk on these bigger ones. Yeah, and I'll, you know, another option for us because we do have access to um, cash is we can also do private lending, which is a huge interest rate. However, um, I understand how it works. So it would just be a temporary situation to get the home, get it fixed and then refinance it later. I'm trying to talk so that way the squeak doesn't. <laughs> Drown out that squeak, Jamie. Drown out that squeak with my loud, high-pitched voice. So we showed the channel members yesterday some of the plans. Do you want to show them? Oh, yeah. Do you guys want to see we'll the keep plans? A, we'll keep you excited about the house because it's all I'm doing is like looking oh up gosh. how to do things. That keeps measuring everything. I'm like, I'm like, how far away is the toilet from the bathtub in our house? Because I'm not a contractor. I can build a lot of stuff, but I'm not a contractor. So I don't know like exact specs on things and what's code. So I've been like researching that heavily on everything and what code is on our city. Is it best to build on like the standard 16 inch stud wall or can I do like the new kind of, uh, they've got a new framing system out that contractors are doing on a 24 inch system now that uses a lot less wood and is just as strong. I mean, all kinds of stuff like that is what I'm researching. So if this goes through and we get this house, we're going to do tons of videos on that kind of stuff, why we're doing it, how we're doing it as inexpensively as possible. I mean, last night I spent an hour in bed until one in the morning just looking at uh, ways to do cheap hardwood floor out of plywood just in case this 
the house doesn't have good plywood or uh, good hardwood floors underneath the cabinet. Well, underneath the cabinets, underneath the carpet. <laughs> we're going to have to, and the new addition anyways. So, okay, so here, can you guys see this? We're gonna share plans with you guys. What is this? Hold on, what am I looking at? So this right here would be a garage. Oh, okay. This is the so original this... footprint of the house right now as okay. it sits. And Zeb's digitizing this, so it'll be pretty cool for you guys to see. So right now, if you guys have, haven't watched the video, go back and check it so you can see um, the pictures of all this. But without the garage, so this is not here. This is the existing house with the front porch. And here is the family room that was the old garage addition. So this is how it existingly is set up right now. Oops, let's see. So the garage is going to be huge because we're going to make it a workshop and we're going to get a proper um, a proper filming area for you guys so you guys we can do better videos. So we're not always doing huge DIYs yeah. in the kitchen. So we, it'll be about 700 square feet. But above the garage is this area right here and then this is above the old family room that's already there. So this will have three bedrooms with built-ins and desks along here so we'll have odelia and eliza the little boys will share and then there's a bathroom over here for them and then right here is the laundry room because except for harrington who will be in the basement of the house in the original house everybody's going to be up here so i thought it made sense to have the laundry room up here so there's a laundry room here it's a good space then over here zeb has um access to the attic and then right here he'll have his editing nook so that way he can kind of be out in the hallway in case kids need him because he does spend a lot of time editing. This I'm really excited about. This space right here is not a bedroom. It's my home office uh, storage area, which will actually be, because you guys know I'm a blogger, a, a influencer. I have a bunch of seasonal decor and things that I need to change out. So this actually will have a bunch of shelves and I will use it to store all of my seasonal decor so that way I can find it and inventory it and know what I have. Because right now, I store it underneath the couch, in the linen closet, underneath my bed, it's all over the place. And if I don't have room, I usually just sell it at the shop. And then over here, um, this is our master bathroom, which is really quite large. We're pretty excited about it. We plan on putting the clawfoot tub that we're hoping is in the existing bathroom. It will actually be put up here. And then a huge walk-in closet here with a bench across the back. And then our master bedroom will actually be 18 by six and a half. So it's gonna be a good size master 16 bedroom. 16 and a half, you said six. 18 by 16 and a half. Did I say six? <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So this is what, this is all gonna be brand new. And then, this is what we've been messing around with, going back and forth. This is the original house, which is teeny, teeny, tiny, like what, 800 square feet maybe, the first floor? Yeah, the first floor is 800. So this is the front door here. We plan on taking out all the walls and then adding a engineered beam and then probably where the staircase is to go down to the basement, we're gonna be adding some supports in there. When you walk in to this direction is gonna be a, a huge nine foot table. And then over this direction, this is just a little formal living area. This is where my white Ikea um, furniture will be. If you guys have seen my Instagram feed, you've seen many, many pictures of that. Zeb is actually planning on building this table with wood that we remove when we're doing, uh, we take out that ceiling that's above uh, the family room. There are enough beams that we will be able to salvage them and take the original wood and build a table. So we're super excited. Anything we salvage, like old windows, when we replace them for energy efficient, we'll save and keep in the home. And then if we ever sell it, my intention is to include anything made with that salvage with the home because it should, should be with the house. We're doing so, built-ins all over. Yeah, so if you go down these stairs here, there's going to be, there's already two kind of dumpy little bedrooms. One will be my, nep my nephew's. We're having, we're having fun talking today. I know. I'm. Uh, it's been a day. Anyways, one will be Harrington's because he's going to be out in about six months anyways because he's graduating from high school, going off to college mission. On the opposite side underneath, there's one more room in a cold storage. That will be Jamie Ray Vintage Office. So that cold storage will have all of our products and everything that's underneath it. And th the basement really isn't going to be touched in the renovation because... It's not that great, so we're just gonna leave it the way that it is. So if you go this way from the 
dining table. There's a huge island. How big is that island, Zeb? The island is going to be like eight feet wide. To put that in context, this island I'm working on now is about five and a half. So it's going to be eight foot wide. There'll be double doors that go out to the back. This area, area here will eventually have a giant patio. But for the time being, we'll just add some stairs because we won't be able to have money in our budget to do that. But we wanted to have the French doors so that way it opens up to the backyard, which is beautiful. There will be a sink here overlooking the backyard, ginormous fridge here. And then this little door goes into a huge walk-in pantry. You guys know we have five kids, so food storage is really important to us. So that's kind of the basic layout. I mean, it looks like it's really huge, but this main living area is really just not that big. So we had to open it up as much as possible. It's about the same size as the living area we have now in our open. It's a little bigger, it's a little bigger. Our goal is that by the time we close on this house, our plans are complete and we're ready to submit for permits because we know being like owner builders that it's gonna be uh, a little bit difficult to get things through. So we just wanna get the process started. Anyways, there's where we're at. Ta-da, it looks up, that looks great. All right, I need to add. You're gonna darken it up well, a little bit? Well, there's a little swoop on the D that I couldn't get because it was too small. Okay. Let me, we're gonna go fly. Okay, I'm getting a drink because I'm losing it. We will go live a lot. Um, we do have some computer software, so when you watch HGTV and you see them like do the drawing, we're gonna be doing that. And next week we have the home inspection and we will be filming the home inspection. We got the okay from the inspector to actually film it. So we will have an edited video next week where you guys can actually see what goes into a home inspection and you will find out right along with us all the ins and outs of the house. So I think that's gonna be pretty fun. And we're going to, our plan is when we're doing the renovation that you're gonna have lots of videos about the renovation and about once a week, we'll still be painting furniture so that way you guys can see that and then Anything we build furniture wise or that we use for products, you're gonna see in our videos. So I intend on uh, stamping or stenciling at least one floor. Uh, I, we may do our own countertops. We'll, we're planning on doing some dresser conversions. For vanities, for vanities and, and, and bathrooms. bathrooms. We're gonna have three bathrooms, so there's three opportunities for that. All right. I'm hoping that there's some brick from the original fireplace that's salvageable that we could use to, um, we'll cut them in half and face, uh, do some facade on the front. What are those called? Pillars on the front of the house. So we'll see what happens. Debbie's design diary is on. We are not going to be living there while we're doing all oh, this. We're gonna keep no. renting here. No, that's, you know, when you have five kids, it would cost us so much money like in takeout because we couldn't eat. And for what, and also we have to have a proper place to do shipping for our website. Our rent here is not super expensive and it's actually cheaper than renting a commercial building to fulfill orders. So we'll just continue to live here until the house is livable. Now we probably won't have all the aesthetic cosmetic things finished by the time we move in, but all the hard stuff will be done. All right, blocking Jamie for a sec so we can get a good view of blocking this whole door He's here. not blocking me, I'm right, I'm right Oh, here. you're over to the side. All right, so. Oh, now I'm gone. Now you're gone. All right, so here is the door. And Jamie got real excited when she was seasoning up here, but we could wipe that back a little bit. That's just chalk like up on it. there. But it looks like it was done by hand. And let me bring you up close. But it's chalk. Like, if we don't want that on there tomorrow, we just erase it. Yep. Any one of our Jamie Ray vintage stencils could be used to do this. So, this is a good alternative to doing paint or whatever and really gives you some fun, authentic chalk art. I think this would be so cute to do with the grain sack ones. Yeah, we should. We should do it's the grain sack one. So I'll, right. do an, I'll do another one. We're gonna one. have to find some more junk. <laughs> we have lots of we junk. We too fast. And now that's cool because we already did the other side, so this will be a two-sided. Uh, and I will, I, we Although got Although you did free. use the same stencil we used on the other window, good job. The window, the, <laughs> Oh no, we did that by hand with letters, huh? What are you talking about? There's no window in the, the shop. window in the basement. No, we just did a room. sign with this. Okay. Um, so I'm over here looking. What other stencils should we do? Oh, someone asked a question about Big Top. You want to scroll up and see that? Um, yeah, but don't you need more junk? No, we're not going to put more stencils on here. More junk? I'm going to do the other side of the door. What are you going to do oh, on the other side? Oh, it's still wet. It's still wet. we got to find more. You talk to them. I'll find junk in the garage. All right. 
So if you wanted to, you know, this would work if you were, oh, you know what I'm gonna do? Check this out. Everybody always complains because we don't go back and fill in where the stencil is. Oh, that's easy with this pencil. Give me just a sec, I'm gonna work on this here. But yeah, we've got lots of fun plans for, for this little house. If it works out, it'll be double the size it is now. And hopefully, we're hoping, 90% of it I can probably do with Jamie's help. Um, my cousin is a licensed electrician. He's gonna come over and help us. And even if he's just like, hey, do it like this, and then he comes back the Are next you day. The because you messed up? Yeah. Okay. If he comes back the next day and he's like, oh, hey, you did this wrong, and he doesn't have to be there the whole time, he just kind of shows me how. That way he's not just standing around doing all the work. Um, that and But it gives me some quality control so I know I'm doing it right, and it's to code, and it's safe. So that's going to be a huge benefit. And if he can't do it, I know my dad can come out and do that. He's an electrical engineer, so... We can, we can make that happen. Because when you're doing your own home, when you're the homeowner, you, in most states and most cities, you just have to get the building permits and you can be your own contractor 100% of whatever you're doing. You do have to pass inspections, whether you're a licensed contractor or a licensed contractor or not. You have to pass inspections, but... If you're if you're doing it yourself and you're passing inspections, you you don't need a contractor at all at any point. So. Okay, I had an idea, but I need you to move that door. Jamie's got an idea. I'm gonna keep filling in. She's got something else going so, on here. All right, I, we have junk problems. So Zeb just finished making a coffee table. It's called the Deborah Coffee Table. We sell it on our website. What happened to these? I, I, I cut them too short on accident. Like I grabbed the waste board instead of the right board and cut them both. So. So these are the scalloped edges that would go on the Deborah coffee table, but he made a boo-boo and he did not throw them away because waste not Wednesday, you know, also we're hoarders. So there's that. So I found this old shelf. It's already got some uh, metal brackets. I think we bought it. It was $6 actually. The price tag's right here. We showed it to you a few weeks ago. I'm going to have him cut this shelf down right here. We'll use that for something else later. And then we'll attach this and we'll make a cute little shelf and we'll just move this bracket so over. Cut that right now. So what I need, yeah. So I need you to cut that. And then also, would you find me, there's like hooks in the garage. I'm going to just take and paint this with some fun milk paint. Okay. And then we'll put hooks on it and then somebody could just hang it for like a coat rack or whatever. All right, we'll go find your paint so we're not both off camera, and okay. then I'll go do this. You, why don't you talk to him while I go find I'm going to show him this. We probably have okay. tons of questions we need to answer, too. We'll get to questions. Um, so this scallop here, I have a video on how to do these scallops. Um, I'll look it up and put the link in below. It's pretty simple. I use, I use like a roll of tape or a cup to get my template, and then... These ones I didn't I didn't really round out super well because it was the coffee table, the Deborah coffee table that we build has a rustic hand feel to it. So these are a little little more uh, rough. But you know when you're looking at it across the room, they're all perfect. You know, look at that. Don't, don't mind <laughs> me. I buy it because I'm a retailer. I get to buy milk paint by the gallon. It comes in a plastic bag. It's especially great when it's flour sack because that's white, so it looks like crap. But <laughs> it's, I think that, is that flower sack? That looks like pink. No, this is first crush. I'm going to paint pink. Okay. I'm going to go run, cut this down super quick, and then we'll move these shelf brackets. Did you also need hooks, you said, Jamie? Yeah, I need hooks for that one. Okay, I'll bring that stuff all in. Okay. And keep talking Let to me, them. So, you guys, can they see me? Okay, so I'm going to make up milk paint here. I like to, these are my protein powder scoops. I save them. And I use them because milk paint is one part uh, paint to one part warm water. Sometimes I like to do just a little bit less so I get good coverage. I'm going to cheat a little bit and not wait for the water to get completely warm. My immersion blender broke, so bear with me. I'm going to go grab a plastic fork and mix this up and answer questions. All right, and I'm back. All right, if you have questions, now the time to ask because I got to mix this up with a fork, so it's going to be a hot minute. Okay, so these have been spray painted. I don't know if he told you that, but there's got some spray paint on there. 
Okay, let's see, what do we got question-wise? What brand of outdoor sealer do you recommend? So I recently used Kills Clear. Sorry, I have to really say it because my braces make it hard to talk. But um, it's a matte outdoor sealer, water-based. We picked it up at Home Depot. Gee, sorry, I got, I got my daughter and two neighbor kids outside, so they were looking through the window like maybe they needed something. Anyways. I love it. You can spray it through a spray gun or brush it on. It works really well. What is the most versatile paint pixie brush? I'm looking to get one soon. Definitely get the one and three quarter. It's also known as the number 12 and I think it actually has a name. I can't remember what it is, but the one and three quarter is probably my most used brush of any of them. No officer. I promise it's just paint. Um, yeah, I've actually taken some with me when I was on a trip and I carried it on and they had to run it through their thing to make sure that it was indeed not crack and they had a drug dog sniff it. I'm like, it's just milk paint. It's all natural. It's not gonna hurt you. All right, Tracy says she received her order. That's exciting. Yeah, if you were waiting on milk paint from that milk paint sale, we just got those out. All right, quick random. Can I push shellac or big top over something I have already waxed? You guys are the best. Wax needs to breathe. So um, the best practice would be no. Um, but I can't say that I haven't done it. What you risk if you seal over the top of wax, wax is that you will have some moisture issues and it might not seal properly. Um, if it's been over 30 days and it's not feeling waxy, you might be okay. But I can't tell you that for sure it's okay because uh, the best practice is not to. And you can usually just lightly sand it or remove it with mineral spirits. Sniffing the milk paint. Oh, Caitlin says on our website, it's the number 12. So she's going to drop that paint pixie link for you in case you need it. All right, let's see. What did we miss? Make the cut in the middle to get the same end. Well, I'm not going to be doing um, the same thing with the other side. So we're just going to make it the full length of this. This is just going to be, I'm going to put some hooks on there. Are you already done? I haven't even finished mixing up milk paint. I think I'm I using, got everything uh, I need. Sweet Pickett's milk paint and first, first crush. It is, um, it will get chippy and crackle. I may have to wet distress it because these were painted a while ago. But anyways, this is a consistency of milk paint, like a melted milkshake. That's kind of how you want it. You can make it thicker or thinner. Same thing with the DIY. Sometimes people think DIY paint is too thick and it's water-based. So you can make it as thick or thin as you want it. You can thin it right out just out of water. All right, are you going to do some building while I paint? I'll do some building are while you, you paint. I'm going to walk off. I say that. Um, I'm going to bring the camera down though. You're going to have to sit yeah. and paint. I use sometimes the non-synthetic brushes, but lately I've been digging using the synthetic brushes with the milk paints. Okay. DIY brushes are back in stock. Oh, Caitlin, would you, this is business related, but would you add the two DIY brushes that we did not carry before because they were out of town? Can you? They were out of town. Because they were out of stock. People talk. are going to watch the replay on this video and be oh like, man, have they been drinking? This is what happens when you have ADD and your brain is on overload because you're doing one more thing you're not used to, which in my case You've also been waking house. up at like 4.30 in the morning and then you go work out and then you... Yeah, but don't I look good? And then you do like eight hours of computer work before I even wake up. Anyways. <laughs> hey, then. She knows what I mean. So we, we have a relationship. I need you to order those new, two new DIY brushes and get those up on the website when you have time today. I've been sniffing the milk paint. Thanks, Tammy. Thanks for that vote of confidence. It just smells a little earthy. Yeah. All right, I'm going to do the bottom here. I made it kind of thick so I don't have to do lots of coats because I'm a lazy, lazy. Jamie, I'm looking so fly. Girl, that's why you're my bestie. Jenny and I have been texting back and forth. We both had a little bit of work done, so that's been fun. I don't know if Debbie wants me to tell you that, but I just did. Beans are out. You know, here's the thing. If so Jamie knows a beard. and you did not disclose that you don't want people to know, just assume everybody's going to know. <laughs> <laughs> you should tell me don't say anything. And then I put it in the ball. Well, sometimes I forget, too. If it's been more than five years, the vault gets opened back up because she doesn't remember that she's not supposed to say. All right, so, so tell them about your beard. Oh, my I beard. I don't know what's going on with your face. I don't know. 
Jamie wonders what's going on with my face too. I'm going camping with the scouts this weekend. So I'm like, eh, hi adventure beard, here we come. Yeah. You know, I, I- So we might not get a video up Friday. I'm thinking about possibly going live. Jamie or we're might gonna go. shoot two videos. I don't think we're gonna get two videos in today. We've been got too much running around and too many things to do. But you we'll get, get another video. video done and scheduled for tomorrow. I don't know that anybody wants to watch a live video of just me. I don't I don't really think it'd be I'm that I'm thinking great. you should have Caitlin come over. They can meet Caitlin. She can answer comments and questions. Oh and you guys can do well, something. Well, I have three kids here by myself. And all the teenagers are going to be gone. So this is what's... Oops. This is what's happening. Uh, Zeb is going to be with the scouts. Harrington has football leadership boat camp. And Odelia is at chair camp. So I'm left with the three littles, which means we only have one driver to get all the stuff done because I totally make my teenager drive all over the place. I have no babysitters. Eliza's not super great at long-term babysitting. <laughs> <laughs> and I got to run the business and then you want me to go live? I'm leaving Thursday morning at six in the morning and I'll be back Saturday afternoon. Like it's only two days. <laughs> oh, Debbie says, um, shh. Okay. I didn't say that. We did, you know, they don't know what I said. We could have gotten our brows done. Um, let's see. I love reading the comments. Jamie and Zeb have a wonderful group of followers. I think we're all blessed to know Jamie and Zeb. That's so sweet. Don't make me cry when I'm sleep deprived. Susie the Moose says, you're looking great, Jamie. Thanks. I'm actually down officially 10 pounds from when I went to Debbie's house, which is when it kind of all started. And I've recently switched from two days a week. At the beginning of the month, I switched to five days a week. Last week was my first five day week. And I'm halfway through this five day week. And I have to say, Orange Theory doesn't pay me to say this. It's really fun and I have to work really hard not to want to go in on Saturday because it's kind of addicting. So and I also notice I'm getting muscles right here. Did you see that? <laughs> she's, she's, she's like, I never knew I could be sore there. So these are just old hooks. We bought purposefully for this. They were just on like what essentially would be a scrap piece of wood. Probably someone used them in an entry or coat rack or something like that. But the hooks are probably about $3 a piece. And we paid about $6 for all of these hooks by getting them like this and repurposing them. And they've got the good patina on them already. So where do you want me to put these hooks? Um, those hooks are going to go on this. They're not going on this. Okay. And this, so this is just going, you need to attach this piece to the to front. The, to the front. And then we need to reattach the L brackets. Then the whole thing, well, that's not attached to the brackets right now because the whole thing needs to be painted. Yeah. But um, I think this we might not finish on camera because the whole thing is going to need a base coat. Is your heat gun outside? Yeah, it's in my okay. rolling cart. All right. All right, so it sounds like everybody wants uh, Caitlin and I to do it. So Jacob's off work. We will uh, stay tuned for a post in community. I'll let you know when we are going live and what we're going to be doing. And I guess we'll just, you know, just make it work. Just wing. I think I have something going on Friday, so I don't know what time. All right. Don't, don't cover the Botox with my bangs. Yeah, there you go. Look at that forehead. I'm thinking about if I keep the Botox up, I might... What am I doing? Hold that up. Hold that up. <laughs> I might let my bangs grow out. We'll see. Here, I can split them like this, but I feel like I look weird. Orange Theory. Val, it is like a gym class situation where you have a trainer, but instead of paying for like personal training, and there's like 20 to 30 people in the class, and they keep everybody It's like moving. spin class without bikes. Yeah, it's crazy. All right, it's addicting and you can usually get a class for free. So if you look up Orange Theory and there's one by you, call them and tell them, James sent you. They won't know who I am, but they'll let you try out for free. Oh, hold on, that's not level right there. That's I know, the wood's not straight. I'm gonna have to sand that back for right. Don't worry, right. I saw it. Okay, so. Wait, one more over here feels right. All right, so we made a cutesy little shelf with a scrap wood. Where do you want the hooks to put, go now? We're not putting hooks on it. They're going on this. You should have done this. No, nope, the bottom has all kinds of stains and some sort oh. of grease on it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to fill these holes. This whole thing will get painted black, and then we'll paint it something else. But that's not going to happen live. But Where are the hooks going? I can do that. We have to dry that. Oh, the hooks go on that? 
Yes, I keep telling you they don't go on this, but this is these brackets that were already on here are gonna go underneath it. So this would be a cute little shelf. We could also save these brackets for something else and we could put a couple coils oh, underneath it. Oh, I gotcha. I thought that was all going on here together. These are two separate projects. I see now. Okay. This is like a cute little coat hook thing and this is a shelf. All right, I got that I'm with it. You're picking I'll just, up what I'm throwing down? I'll just plane this down with my hand planer and it'll be should flush. we put corbels on the side okay comment below if you think we should use these l brackets or corbels because wait i've got some of the uh do you have some done things that we could look at and mm -hmm. see we're gonna look because i think this is a little bit more modern corbels would be cutesy Jennifer says, I need to be a channel member so I can figure out where to get started. You guys, we have a printable this month that is a dough bowl with lemons in it. I would be a channel member just to get that. Like, it's so stinking cute. Channel membership covers lots of things, but even if you're not in the industry, if you just want the printables for five bucks a month, you're going to get a printable and you can craft with it and sell them. Oh, where? where's it at? Is it still in the truck? Yeah, I'll show you guys the printable because we're going to do a video later today. It'll go up tomorrow and we're going to be using the printable in that video. So you could use any that. anything you want, but we're going to be using our printable because we have it. Those aren't cutesy enough. I don't think. These aren't oh, cutesy enough. Cute. I don't know. I kind of feel like that would work. Although that's kind of weird. Might have to amend it a little bit. The design's getting busy. That would be weird with the scallop up front. I think we'll just keep using the metal ones. Because while this would be cool, we should have put the scallop in the back, like so. Let me show you. It's hard to hold all this at once. We'll show you. Maybe like this with the scallop in the back might be cool. I have no idea where the printable went. It's not in the truck. Oh, I'll go look for it. I know but the scallop I, in the back would be cool too. Yep, I think. I know where I sent things. So see what they want. No, I like scallop in the front though. Okay. So these corbels here, if you were to want to make your own shelf, are available on our website. All right. I'm going to go oh, look yeah. in. These are on the website. What are you doing? I'm looking. But what am I doing? Answering questions. I'm sure we've missed hundreds. All right. Corbels. Can I get the printable on the iPad? So, sorry, I'm out of breath. I need to slow down for a minute. Um, you can't access community from the iPad. However, if you are a channel member, if you send yourself the link, like from a desktop to like text it to yourself, you can totally access the printable or you could email Caitlin and if you're on the list, she'll send you the link. So either way, you can get them with an iPad. You just can't access community with it. That's the only thing. There's a workaround. Lots of people do it and we'll make sure we figure it out. Oh, can Caitlin just put the information in there? She is on top of it. Okay, let's see. Metal going back and forth. Thinking I don't like the corbel. So they don't like the corbels. Some people like them, some people don't. I don't know. Let me see. Yeah, I think you guys are right. I think the metal is good. It's kind of simple. We'll figure it out. All right, I'm moving this away. Hopefully Zeb comes back soon because I can't do anything until he gets back. Oh, there he is. There you are, George. Do you know where the heat gun is so I can dry this? Yep. There. If you're still with us, you are amazing followers because we are all over the place. I'm going to show you guys the printable. The other thing about this printable is it could be, oh, we got a new member. Woo -woo. Let's see. Uh, June Bug RX. You didn't even see the printable yet and you joined. So what Zeb does is he takes images and he uses digital watercolor. So this is a digital watercolor and we print ours out at on matte paper at matte the copy shop. Stock. It's cardstock at the copy shop and we're going to be making like a fun little art project with this but you could also um, blow it up a little bit use it as decoupage and every month there's something different usually it's seasonal or you know we'll ask our followers or our members what they want and then we'll create something i pick the lemons because they're fun all right we're gonna get some good crackle and chippy on this hopefully
So this is going to be a hook, almost like that other one was, but more elaborate with the scallops. All right, Birdie says she's still here with us. Um, <laughs> Anna's bidding on a, hut, a cupboard while she's watching our live, and there's only 31 minutes left for the auction. I Ooh. hope you get it. Tell me about the glue applier. So where is that from and how well does it work? So we buy glue in a gallon. So I buy, yeah, I buy it. It's much cheaper. It's, it's like a third the cost if you buy it by the gallon down at the hardware store. And this is called the glue bot. I got it from my local wood shop. They carry a bunch of specialty woods and specialty tools and things like that. Go, you can get it close so they can see because glue has a couple of little dots above it. This is the label. But it makes it so you don't have to like tip it all crazy to get the glue on. You can basically squeeze from any angle and it'll squirt it out of there. So um, that heat gun, what brand is that? So this is Tac Life heat gun. They and actually sent it to us. Yeah, they, they sell them on Amazon. They sent it to us to try out and it's been amazing. It's been dropped about a hundred times and just keeps on going. Sometimes if tools survive me, they're doing good. That's that's um, the ticket with heat guns. If you drop them, there's a heating element in there and it breaks a lot of times, especially if it's hot. So it's it's holding up. Welcome Jennifer O'Donoghue. She's a new channel member. Now, if you're just joining our channel membership and you want to know more about what it is. We just did a video last week going yep. over in more detail. It's got some screenshots and information, so don't miss that video. Um, definitely check that out. And if you ever have questions that the video doesn't answer or that you don't know about for channel membership, you can email Caitlin at customercare at jamierayvintage.com, and she's really good to help you as much as possible. One thing to know is that YouTube handles all the payments, so if it's a problem with a payment, you'll have to actually go through YouTube because they handle that for us. We have a little, you know, a split. YouTube takes care of payments, they take their split, and then we take care of all the extras, and we get our split. And you get some fun new emojis. So if you're a new channel member, check out those emojis. And you get bird by your name. Every month that bird's gonna change. Check out the crackle that woo, the heat woo. gun did. It probably would have done this on its own, but we sped up the process with the heat gun. And the milk paint gives you little crackles. Now you can see on the bottom where there's a little bit of the original black coming through. I may come back and um, get rid of that. Is that all, right. all the way dry? It's dry enough. We got, we got it chipping up here. Can you go get me a sanding block? Yep. And then we'll just clear wax this top part real quick. Okay. And then we'll put those hooks on and this part will be done. This is going to be cute. Anything chippy pink sells really well. Oh, thank you, Stephanie. I appreciate that. A little super chat there. Jamie Lee, how much have you missed? Well, I've been talking about a thousand miles an hour, so maybe a little bit, so don't forget to catch the replay. Debbie's showing off the custom emojis. The more channel members we get, the more emojis we can make, so Zeb's been having fun doing that. I don't know what the lady raising her hand is. I think that's me. I don't know. Um, let's see if we have any questions. Let's do, 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 sorry. Crafting as I watch. Jana, what are you making? What are you making? Zeb will be back in just a second. This is how our lives usually run towards the end, trying to figure everything out. Stacy's using all the emojis. And if you guys don't know, Debbie's on here, Debbie's Design Diary. She has a great channel. In fact, Zeb and I have been on there many, many times, and you'll definitely want to check that out. She's an excellent storyteller. All right, endorphins make you happy. Yes. So working out definitely helps the endorphin level. Um, it's not, I've never worked out in my life, ever. Not when I was younger, not when I played tennis. The thing about milk paint is it, it's a really easy way to make new wood look old. We love to use spray paint underneath it because when you use the heat gun, it kind of activates that spray paint and helps create more of a chip. Also, it gives you some fun crackle. Debbie is eating a keto peanut butter cup. Nice. How is that? How is that? <laughs> yeah, uh, Terry says she's knitting a baby blanket while she watches. That's fun. I can't crochet or knit because I'm too, I just, I can't relax. Never good. All right, that's putting this together here. Look how cute this is. Oh, do you want to go grab the wax? Yeah, I'll go grab the wax. 
so I don't really have to measure out because I already measured the scallop. So as long as I'm pretty close to my center on here, let's see, I'm thinking four hooks. Or do you think I should do a hook per every scallop? I think that's too much. I think that's too much, too many hooks on here. DIY clear wax, of course. This is creamy yumminess. And we're just gonna clear wax it to seal it. People ask us all the time, can you use DIY wax on other products? You can DIY wax over any paint you want to. It's, it works great. It's really gentle, like it doesn't have any harsh chemicals in it. Yep. Okay, hold on. That's a little wet still. We'll just wax the top, it's dry. Yeah, that's where I'm putting the hooks. Caitlin is folding laundry and monitoring, multitasking like a boss <laughs> or like the employee of the year. We're going to make Caitlin We're a gonna shirt. We're going to get her shirt. This says employee of the year. One of the things to know, if you, this was DIY paint, when you waxed it, it would get a lot darker. And then after about 24 hours, it kind of comes down a little bit and, and evens out. Milk paint is not clay based, so it does richen a little bit, but it's not as much of a difference. I like to tell people because sometimes people wax the DIY paint and they're like, oh my gosh, freaked out. It also will show all the detail when you wax DIY paint. It's pretty matte. Otherwise, okay, so that's right. wax enough. Time to get the hooks it's on. It's not furniture. I'm not buffing it. It's good enough. This is going to sell in about three seconds in the shop. I wish I had somewhere it's to good. put it. good. We got that market coming up. Oh, yeah. we have. If you're local to Utah, stop by the shop. Um, we're having a market from 10 to 5 on Saturday. There's going to be other vendors there. Um, 1245 West Main Street in Lehigh. I'm not sure when I'll be there. I have a friend getting um, married that day, so I'll be in and out. What am I making my husband for Father's Day this year? A nail gun. Oh, I'm buying him a nail gun. Did you, did you put it in the Amazon cart? No, I'm just going to get it from Home Depot on my own, and you're going to say you got it for me sweet so <laughs> That's I love, not, yeah i love you but i gotta pick that out so <laughs> you know everybody has their love language zeb's love language is he would like people to feed him and leave him alone so while he's gone i'll make sure the house is all clean and then um i'll make sure the kitchen is stocked i'll cook him some yummy food and that's about it he doesn't prefer me to buy him presents i don't even know i shop for him all the time so i don't know what else i'd buy you i buy all of his clothes Yep, if I need a new shirt, I'm like, hey, you over there at that store right now, that Quicksilver place, grab me another shirt, would you? 50% um, off, please. Do you find with wax that it gets dirty easily? No. Um, if Once it's cured, you can clean it really well. The nice thing about wax is if you get like a scratch or an imperfection, you can like lightly sand it and then re-wax it and usually fix it. But if you get a liquid top coat, if you scratch that, you can't like paint over it. It looks weird but wax, you can always just like re-wax and use that. Sometimes I have pieces that sit around the shop for a while and someone will put something on top of it and scratch it. And I'll come back through like magic eraser it, re-wax it, and it's usually pretty good. Make him a good steak and get him the keto, keto peanut butter cups for dessert. Now here's the thing with Zeb. He does not do any alternative sugar. It's all, if he gets sugar, it's all natural. So he doesn't do From that. From the fruit or the food or whatever. But yeah, we already have good steaks in the fridge. We eat steak like once or twice a week, easy. If we're doing steak, that means I gotta cook. Yeah, so, cause I can't cook meat to save my life. We'll probably do tacos. But we do have some organic maple syrup with no sugar added that he likes. So I might make him some yummy waffles and syrup. I never knew, I'm like, maple syrup, that sounds like it's cheating, but it's it's like, it's almost like honey. It's kind of like a superfood. Yeah, you can use a uh, liquid top coat over milk paint. If it's super chippy, I don't suggest it because it will reactivate it. So if it's really chippy, I only ever use wax. So if you did this and it didn't get it chippy enough, you could take a damp rag and wet distress that milk paint and coerce the chippy. Because some people are like, I can't get it to chip. Sometimes that helps. All right. All right let me show you the, uh, the chalkboard again real quick. That looks like an old piece quick. of salvage. Do, 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 do. All right. So we will show you all the projects we completed today on Waste Not Wednesday. Okay. Long laundry door. Check. Oh, you forgot to fix that? No, I, I started building your thing. Oh, we're good. And then we also completed our little, it's not even salvage, but we're gonna call it a salvage coat rack here. We'll put some cute little hooks on the back and that'll sell. I'll probably actually sell this for about $20. And the hooks cost me, I think, what, three bucks? 
Yeah, well, well it took that, me a minute to yeah. cut those scallops out. So this is where we got the hooks from. See, there's the tag, it was $3. So maybe I'll ask 25, because these hooks are worth about $3 a piece. So three, six, 12, 25 bucks, 24, 24.95, how about that? There you go. But, and then I'll show you guys a shelf that isn't completed yet, but we will get it done. Hold on. There. So this Bye. is what we used. Oh, we got another channel member. Yay. Okay. So, and here's the shelf that we did. We'll sand this down, paint it dark, and then we'll do um, some corbels or we'll reuse those metal brackets on the shelf. And they'll be cute. All right. All right, guys. I want to say welcome to the new channel member. Sorry, I got to look pretty good. Welcome to the new channel member. Welcome, Catherine Reese Huddock. Yay. All right, you guys. Stay. Make sure you hit that subscribe and notification because... We will make sure to let you guys know when Caitlin and I will be live on Friday while Zeb is gone. Don't forget to go to jamierayvintage.com to purchase the products we use today. Every, every penny is going to the house right now, so we appreciate every order. We're like, oh, good. Because before it was like, <laughs> okay, we're saving money and are we're we putting do... it aside. Now we're like, okay, we need the money so we can buy the house. Are we doing laminate or hardwood? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The way, the way the house will be pieced together will be dependent upon how well we do. So we appreciate it. Love you guys so, so much. Oh, the, don't go. Don't go. The giveaway. The giveaway. Caitlin, thank you. All right. Zeb, Zeb we're going to announce the winners. I'm just going to randomly pick with my eyes closed. I don't have time to bring up the uh, comment picker. Okay, so we're picking one winner from Facebook, from the Jamie Ray Vintage Group. And then we're picking one winner um, from the community on YouTube. And if you have not entered those and you want to enter to win another um, sample, comment below if you haven't done so already. And we'll pick another winner for a sample of DIY paint next Wednesday. And if you guys can share this video, that would also be amazing because we need all the views we can get. All right. And we can't on. do it without you. Zeb's picking winners. So just I'm... hold on and I'll dance. You guys wanna see my forehead? Wait, watch, look what I can't do. Hold on, I'm trying to push my eyes together. Wait. Oh, they're not making it. And I can raise my eyebrows, but there aren't any wrinkles. <laughs> okay. Did you find a winner yet? Which which winner is this for? So this is for the, um, it's Lulu Philippi with two P's in from, Philippine. Which, is it from Facebook or YouTube? It's from YouTube, from so Community. Lulu Philippi. Um, email customer care at jamierayvintage.com and um, well, I want to say what she said favorite item is the dark wax all Some right DIY dark wax DIY dark wax okay so Lulu make sure that you email Caitlin if that's you and we'll get your sample out to you in mean, just a sec make now sure we gotta do the Facebook color. one okay wait for it here it's gonna be longer than that oh, I can't like, that's gonna that be long. a long time I don't know where you're uh... well get on camera because I'm the only one on here do you want me to do it? No, I found it. I'm faster than you. I found the post. Oh, well, I'm on your phone. I don't, you're, <laughs> the way you organize your apps is They're not fun. organized. They're organized in that they go on as soon as I download the app and wherever that happens, that's where they stay. Do people organize their apps? <laughs> My whole phone is like <laughs> completely organized. It looks like a file folder. I know, I can never find anything. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'm just going to scroll through all the comments on the Facebook group, comments, and... Close your eyes, close your eyes, scroll back and forth, scroll back and forth. All right. Beth Dankmeyer Star. All the JRV stencils, they are well made and are so versatile. That was, that was her favorite thing. Show the names so that way. Oops. I, well, Show. there's a lot of names on there. There's like a whole right. list of so names. So we'll put the winners in the description when we're no longer live so you can double check it there. We'll also put the email so that way you could just click that email and email Caitlin, let her know what you want. We'll get it mailed out. And next week, don't let us forget, we'll announce another winner for a sample of DIY paint. All right. I think that's it. Okay, guys. Love you have guys. a great day. We got to get